victim and usually the killer is arrested and there's a trial then most people simply forget about the crime what happens when the killer is never caught police don't forget the cases but eventually yellowing files are tucked away but in hamilton county recently dusty files are being reopened yeah there was a suspect down there at the time and you didn't use his name but Russ Jackson, the new chief of detectives hired by Sheriff Simon Lease, was an investigator for the prosecutor's office and former commander of Cincinnati's homicide from 1961 to 1972. Jackson signed warrants in some of the most celebrated murder cases, like Posty Olasky, believed to be the Cincinnati Strangler. Now he's taking a fresh look at old Hamilton County cases where the killers got away. I know the feeling because we had unsolved cases in the city and uh, um, it's very frustrating. It's frustrating when you can't solve them and uh, day, each day goes by, you become more frustrated with it. Detectives are going over one very cold trail, the triple murders of the Bricka family in their Bridgetown home 21 years ago. They're looking for something that may have been overlooked to begin with or for something the killer left behind. You're actually taking the place of the person that was murdered and trying to help find out who did it, who committed this act because everybody has a right to um, be represented.